Hello and welcome to Live at 5. I'm Lance Jenkins. And I'm Kelsey Rushing. Full lineup tonight, including special guest Neil Peacock of the area of Richmond Transit, going to be talking to us about efforts in Florida to help victims of Hurricane Irma. That's coming up later in the show. Now for tonight's top story. Congressman Robert Pettinger, who represents Richmond County in the United States House of Representatives, defended President Trump's DACA decision in his weekly column released over the weekend. Last week, President Trump announced an orderly wind-down of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. And according to the congressman, this was difficult, but President Trump made the correct decision, citing, quote, in 2012, President Obama established DACA via what amounted to a royal decree using an executive order without input or consent from Congress, end quote. Congressman Pettiger stated that President Trump is correct to ask Congress to fully review an act on the DACA issue because Congress makes the law, not the president. The second annual Taste of the St. Hills and Dancing with the Stars event was a major success Saturday night for Richmond County Hospice. As around 400 people packed the banquet hall at Cole Arturian support of the event and bereavement program at hospice. Nine couples danced the night away in the Hollywood-themed event. Dr. Mary Catherine Moore and Dennis Quick won the Hospice Award, the award given to dancers that raised the most money for hospice. Seth Allen and Gabrielle Robinette Goodwin won the People's Choice Award, and Robert Smith and Tara Billingsley won the Judge's Choice Award to cap off the night. Big congratulations are in order for the winners, and a special thanks for Hospice for making the event such a tremendous success. The 2017 Fearless Student Conference is set for this Friday and Saturday night at Freedom Baptist Church in Rockingham. The conference will begin Friday night, September 15th at 6 o'clock p.m. with great food and worship featuring speaker Zach Kelly and music performed by Fearless Worship. The event is open to all students who want to come and learn about Christ and how He can make a difference in your life right now and for the rest of your life. Freedom Baptist Church is located at 987 U.S. Highway 1 in Rockingham. and Check out richmondobserver.com later this week for the full story. And For more information on the event, you can call C.J. Smith at 910-461-1106. Kyle Larson steals the win in Richmond, Virginia in a NASCAR Monster Energy Series. On lap 88, Matt Kenseth was in the lead but pulled out because smoke started spewing from the back of his number 20 Toyota. This allowed Brad Keselowski to take the lead, but not for long as Kyle Busch quickly took the lead at the end of Stage 1. The second stage of the 400 lap race had no caution interruptions, but many lead changes took place. Larson and Bush were battling for the lead, but in the end, Martin Truex Jr. gained another playoff point. In the final stage, Austin Dillon made contact with Danica Patrick, and the aftermath of ambulance had driven onto the track and stopped at a commitment line at the entrance of pit road, and this resulted in contact between many drivers. At the restart of the race, several drivers were able to take the lead. As the laps were running down, the winner seemed clear, but Derek Koop had an incident which led to overtime, and Larson came out with a victory after Denny Hamlin and Truex wrecked on the final lap. They'll race at Chicago Land this Sunday. Hurricane Irma has now been downgraded to a tropical storm, but the storm is continuing to come down hard on the southeast after having ravaged its way through Florida. As Hurricane Harvey did to Texas, Irma pounded Florida and relief efforts are already underway and local Richmond County citizens are getting involved. And of course, now we are joined uh, by the director of the area of Richmond Transit, Neil Peacock, who is among those here in Richmond County who is trying to help the people uh, that have been affected by Hurricane Irma in Florida. And Neil, we're certainly happy to have you in studio today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you taking yeah. the time. So tell us about what you're doing. You and your father actually are leading this effort. Your father's an associate pastor. Uh, Tommy, is that right. right? Tommy Peacock. Tell us about what you guys are doing to help the folks in Florida. Right. So we're asking to uh, our local community here to donate things such as baby diapers, baby formula, um, you know, non-perishable foods, those items that, you know, will be in short supply in the places with power outages. Um, we are asking, though, that nobody donate clothes because it's such a labor-intensive item that generally people in the affected area just end up throwing away. And I'm not talking people that get donated to, um, generally the people that process all the stuff you drop it off to. Right, right. And certainly that's, that's a great thing. I mean, because I know there's a lot of people down that have needs that we're just, we're not aware of here because we're not experiencing what they've experienced. And you're actually from, well, you lived in Florida for some right. time. So you've got family down there right now. Yeah, um, my roots kind of run deep over there. My dad was born and raised in Tampa in the Six Mile Creek area. I myself, um, I lived in Lakeland and Orlando for about five years mm -hmm. and moved to Richmond County when I was 10, and I call Richmond County home. Right, and you've been here since then. Uh, well, I went to Richmond, Richmond Senior, right. graduated there in 99, 
And then I went off and joined the Marine Corps for eight years and then kind of got lost in the shuffle oh. and made a family and came back. We certainly appreciate your service uh, to our country. And so let's talk a little bit about your time in Florida. You were young, but now you're being able to, to help give back to the communities that are in need now. That must be special to you. Right. Well, I mean, I've always felt a calling to serve. Obviously, why that's why I joined the Marine Corps. That's why I do a lot of things I do, especially with the transit, because helping people in need is just kind of in my DNA, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I've sat and watched uh, Houston because I, I lived in Houston for about six months when I got out. So I have family and friends there, and it just kind of bothered me that I couldn't do anything there because of just the timing was bad. Right. But with Florida, you know, it's it's closer, it's doable, it's manageable, and I'm not gonna let another one go by with that affect the people I know, and I know the people are hurting, and I have the ability to actually do something about it. So a lot of things and a lot that you can drop off uh, to, to help this effort. Where can folks bring these items? <clears throat> so right now we have two drop-off points. One is at my office at Area Richmond Transit at 504 C East Broad Avenue, which is right behind Cosmos and Sharp Office Systems. Um, the other place is my father's uh, church, which is New, Will, uh, Free, New Vision Free Will Baptist Church down in East Rockingham, uh, down near Rohannon Street. Okay, yeah, and there are two drop-off points now. And yeah. at what time will you all begin collecting items? Um, we're collecting them right now, okay. all the way to Saturday, and then Saturday, Sunday, we'll uh, pack up, and we're planning on right now pulling out on Monday, hopefully, okay. with, with a trailer or two of stuff. Yeah, um, perfect. If, if there's anybody that wants to do monetary donations, we are asking that they make that check payable to the church and not to the transit. Okay, perfect. Yeah, to the church, new, new, uh, to new vision, new vision, free will. Church, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, and of course, two drop-off points, folks. If you want to help in this effort, a lot of people affected by Hurricane Irma in Florida right now, and of course, we want to make sure that we uh, help those folks and uh, make sure that we can we can do our part here in Richmond County and do that. Hey, can somebody uh, get that guy's phone? Uh, for <laughs> we yeah. got folks calling hey, don already. Don donations yeah, yeah. already. Oh, the donations I didn't know we were doing telephone. Right now. Listen to that. <laughs> um, but uh, we're certainly happy to uh, to have you in studio today uh, and, and want to help out the best we can. What inspired you to do this? I mean, uh, Hurricane Irma is literally pounding the southeast right now. Of course, now it's been downgraded to a tropical storm. Right. Uh, but it's continuing to pound the southeast, and you already had this in the plan, obviously. Uh, what inspired you to do it? Well, I just... It just always runs through my mind. Like, my dad, I was deployed to Iraq and when Katrina hit. So I, I missed all that. And the people that my unit left behind wouldn't help the people in Katrina um, on orders. But my dad took my truck and any truck available from Richmond County. And we he has spearheaded an, a delivery to the people of Katrina. And I always wished that I had been more of a part of that. But obviously, I was kind of tied up at sure, the time. Sure, sure you were, yeah. Um, so it's just it's something that just gets laid on my heart, whether, yeah. you know, God or just, it's just it's just a calling. It's the best way I can describe it. Absolutely. Well, certainly, certainly a good calling, and it's going to do a lot of good for a lot of people. And uh, we appreciate what you're doing here. Folks, Richmond County uh, has been involved in efforts like this in the last few weeks uh, to try to help people outside of this area who have been affected by other things like Hurricane Harvey, for instance, how it affected Houston. A lot of people going down there to help, volunteering their time, volunteering uh, their services, and, and volunteering or giving goods so that it can be delivered to the people in need. Then, of course, now uh, Neil Peacock and his father, Tommy, uh, who's a local pastor at uh, New Vision Free Will in East, East Rockingham, yeah. you said, um, is, uh, is now getting involved, trying to do the same thing for the folks in Florida. If you want to help, uh, you can do that. Drop-off points again. Remind us where the drop-off points are once more. So one is at um, New, Vi Sorry. New Vision Free Will Baptist Church mm -hmm. off of Holly Street um, near Hannah Pickett First Street. Mm -hmm. And then my office at Area Richmond Transit at 504 C East Broad Avenue. And that's uh, located between Cosmos and behind Sharp Office System. Fantastic. Yeah, and folks, and, and if anybody has any questions if about any items. Que yeah. If they have any questions about items or how to find the locations, they can give myself or my dad a call. Okay. Uh, his number is 995-2848, and mine is 995-2210. 
Okay, perfect. 995-2210 will go to you. We'll go to me, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, well, we certainly appreciate what you're doing. Uh, it makes Richmond County look good, obviously. I know it's not why you're doing it, no, but it it's makes not. the county look good. when it has got people like you who are doing some great things for the folks uh, outside of this area uh, who are affected by this storm. We certainly appreciate what you're doing. It, 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 you make Richmond County shine, and we appreciate it. Uh, it's not my... Uh, it's, it's not why I do it. I know. Yeah, sure, so, certainly. It's, just, yeah. it's, a, it's a good bride product, but, you know, this is what being in community is all about, is yeah. helping out everybody else. That's right, folks. Uh, Florida yeah. vic victims of Hurricane Irma uh, throughout Florida, and we're able to help them here in Richmond County. What's that phone number one more time? 910-995-2848 or 910-995-2248. One zero. I certainly appreciate you coming in studio today, Neil, and uh, we, you're welcome anytime. We'd love to talk to you about area Richmond Transit. Sometime. I look forward to you talking about the transit. There's a lot of uh, fun yeah. things going on with transit yeah, these we days. We look forward to it. We'll have you back in studio. We'll talk more about that in the Me future. Too. Folks, when we come back, sports, weather, more Live at 5 coming up right after this. The hospice, you guys just outdo yourselves every day. And I really appreciate it. I honest to God don't know what I would do if it worked for you. The things that you do, I'm in approval of. And thank you. I, 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 I don't know what else to say other than thank you. specialty retail store in downtown Rockingham in the heart of Richmond County. We are all about rustic farm style home decor and gifts. We offer a variety of antique, vintage, and new items. We love helping you make your house a home with unique one-of-a-kind finds. We also have specialty gifts for all occasions. I'm Kelly. I worked at Champion Ford for two years. Six years. Three years. One year. I've been at Champion Ford for 13 years. One whole year. 15 years. I'm Jamie. I've been at Champion Ford for 12 years. I've been here eight years. Champion prices, champion service, champion experience. It treat you like a champion today at Champion Ford. Just down the road from my prices, championfordlincoln.com. We are Champion Ford. Family Pharmacy has been serving Richmond County since April 2007, and we have enjoyed getting to know our customers since then. We take our jobs very seriously, and we'll do whatever we can to make sure you have what you need. Come visit us on Fayetteville Road in Rockingham, and we will treat you like family.
Welcome back to Live at 5. Now for tonight's top sports story. This past Friday night, Richmond Raider football hosted Butler High School. But after a comeback attempt in the second half nearly tied the game, the Raiders ultimately fell short 27-21. In the first two quarters, Richmond gave up three rushing touchdowns. But in the second half, with resilience and determination, the Raiders quickly mounted a comeback. The Raiders had an opportunity to score at the end of the game and tie the game with an extra point, giving them the opportunity to win. But the Raiders ultimately fell to 2-2 two two on the season. Despite the loss, head coach Brian Till noted the team played like they were supposed to in the second half. Richmond will enter its bye week this week, giving its players time to rest and make necessary adjustments. The Raiders will return to action and open Sand Hills Athletic Conference play at home on Friday, September 22nd, as they welcome in Purnell Sweat High School, who currently sits at 3-0 on the season. The game is a featured touchdown against cancer game, with kickoff set for 7.30 p.m. Today's three-day weather forecast is brought to you by Simply Chic Boutique. Tomorrow we will experience some more rain, but with a high 82 degrees. Wednesday will be a high 85 degrees with a 20% chance of rain, and Thursday we should see the same thing. Irma has weakened to a tropical storm, but is still producing wind gusts almost as strong as hurricane forces. And that's a wrap for tonight's show. A reminder that Richmond County Schools have a two-hour delay for tomorrow, Tuesday, September 12th. This decision was made to provide better visibility for drivers in the high winds we will be experiencing. Schools will also be having breakfast regardless of the delay. And folks, that is straight from the office of Dr. Cindy Goodman and, of course, Richmond County Schools Central Office in Hamlet. So tomorrow, uh, a reminder, that is a two-hour delay, Tuesday, September 12th. And we certainly appreciate you joining us for today's edition of Live at 5, and we will be back right here tomorrow night, 5 o'clock p.m., or always on demand on the Richmond Observer app, which you can download on the App Store for iPhone and Google Play for Android. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. I'm Lance Jenkins. I'm Kelsey Rushing. And we will see you tomorrow night for another edition of Live at 5. So long.